guys remember that chocolate chip skillet cookie that I made? Mm? It was so good. And today I'm making something that might even be better. It's a fudgy skillet brownie. Mm? Double chocolate brownie. So I'm starting off by adding some cocoa powder. It's a quarter cup to one cup of flour and a half a teaspoon of salt. Whisk, whisk, whisk. The cocoa powder is not the only chocolate in this, hence the double chocolate. I have some bittersweet chocolate that I'm gonna add later. Set this aside for a sec. One and a quarter cups of sugar with three large eggs. The fun thing about this brownie, couldn't be easier because you start it off in the skillet on top of the stove and then just finish it in the oven. That's all the prep I need to do, so now I'm gonna start cooking it. So here I have a medium non-stick skillet. It's a 10 inch skillet. Add four tablespoons of unsalted butter, quarter cup of heavy cream. Heavy cream is kind of an unusual ingredient in brownies, but trust me, this is a fantastic brownie, so it's well worth going out and getting some heavy cream for this. Then add eight ounces of chopped chocolate. You just need to melt everything together. You can bring the butter and heavy cream up to a simmer first, but heh, <laughs> I like doing things all at once. Yummy, you guys. Feel like the residual cooking will continue to melt the chocolate, so I'm just gonna turn the heat off so that it doesn't scorch. Once your chocolate is fully melted and everything is nicely combined, let it sit for about five minutes before you add it to your egg mixture. When your chocolate has had a chance to cool, whisk it into the egg mixture. You don't want the chocolate to be too hot or it will cook the eggs. Scrape everything in. Have your oven preheating to 350 degrees. The brownie's gonna cook right in this skillet, so scrape all the chocolate out, but you don't even need to wash it or anything. Just set it aside for a second while you mix everything together. Whisk your melted chocolate mixture into the egg, and then fold your dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. We made this the other day in the test kitchen, and nobody could stop eating it. We put vanilla ice cream on it and made them into sundaes. Oh my gosh. Make sure that everything is fully combined, and then you can just Scrape it right back into your skillet. Bake this until the toothpicks inserted in the center comes out clean, about 40 minutes. Once it comes out of the oven, you wanna let it cool a little bit just so that you don't burn yourself when you taste it. But you do wanna serve it warm because that's the way that it's the best. Slices nicely. And of course, you're gonna wanna have some vanilla ice cream on top because you wanna make this into a sundae because that is beyond ridiculous. I cannot wait. Oh, oh you guys, I'm sorry you're not here right now. Mm. Mm. It's insanely rich and fantastic. You are definitely gonna wanna make this.